Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Matt Tour with Insurance Agency Marketing in Omaha. And to do, thank you for joining us this morning on our Social Security webinar. We'll be joined by Dave Pimper here shortly. Appreciate you joining us here on a Tuesday morning. We'll be discussing the uh, viable information that you can obtain by knowing more social security rules and what's available out there in the that space. So a great, uh, great chance to maximize your knowledge and use that to your advantage out there in the field. So we'll be going over some great information today. Any questions you have along the way, make sure you get those uh, typed in. I'd be glad to get those answered here as we progress through today's webinar. And we look forward to uh, really a great webinar here. Probably lasts about 45 minutes in duration. So we continue to offer our new producer builders. We've got some great uh, programs you can qualify based on being a new producer with IMES. Production levels anywhere between $100,000 up to a million. We've got a lot of different uh, items you can choose from. A lot of good business builders. You can uh, qualify for Social Security webinar systems. Qualify for a boss radio show dinner workshops, a lot of good stuff we have available based on your production. I know we've had a lot of agents reach these higher levels over the last couple of years. Great way to have IMS help support your marketing and really help substantiate your production going forward. So really nice program we offer there. We also have our referred producer program, also our marketing reimbursement programs, and you can get uh, dollars sent to you based on referrals. You also get an override based on their production. We pay those overrides once a quarter, really a, a nice combination there. You can maximize your returns on based on referrals. We also have a market reimbursement. Reimburse uh, $100 for every $100,000 of annuity premium on the index side. You get $200 for every $100,000 of C SPL business, single premium life. We also do $100, $200 for every $10,000 of life target premium. So great way for IMS to help support your marketing expenses. We we market, uh, actually reimburse half your costs. So if you spent uh, $2,000 on a mailing, we reimburse $1,000 of that based on what you have in your marketing account. So really nice program we offer here through IMS. You can maximize uh, your business and get some really good returns based on your investment and time and such. So great way to help us help out with your marketing costs. We use the Firelight technologies for paperless applications. It's a great e-app system we uh, utilize through a number of our carriers. Most of our carriers are set up on Firelight. We see about uh, 25 to 30 percent of our business coming in on e-applications at this point, which really helps expedite the process, getting business sent through. A great way for you to uh, have your business go through the channels on, on a time efficient manner, you know, less spelling errors, less questions on handwriting, less forms that are not completed, because Firelight will not allow you to submit an app until it's 100% completed. So it really helps in the whole whole process of getting business through the channels. We have a great creative team here. They can really help you out with your needs for advertising. They can help you out with logo design, doing website development, doing social media advertising, maybe redeveloping postcards for you, redo your company logo. A lot of good stuff they can help you out with based on their expertise in that market. And they can really uh, get your website up to date. A lot of People are using websites were developed 10, 15 years ago, and they really need to uh, get those moving forward, and they can help you out with that whole process. We also have our retirement analyzer software program available to all of our agents that do business with IMS. Really a neat, nice piece of software you can utilize with clients. Good uh, presentation material. You can print off kind of where a client stands today for retirement you know, where they need to be five, 10, 15 years down the road on savings, maximize their income down the road. It can really give them a great picture. You can plug a lot of variables into the software 
maybe you've got a client that's not in the best of health, you can show it could happen if, you know, one of the spouses dies prematurely, if they have hospital stays, maybe someone wants to buy a new car when they retire, maybe they'll get a new Tesla, and they want to, uh, you know, spend $60,000 on that, you can plug all that into the software program, really a nice overall package you can utilize with clients on that side. We have our wealth management side of the business that's now open. It's been open about three years now. Great bunch of people that work over there. We've seen a, a really huge growth in that business. The last couple of years, the stock market's been on a fantastic run for about 12 years right now, right now. So it's really a uh, been on a long streak of gains. You know, everyone's predicting a correction, which has not happened in the last number of years, but it will be happening sometime down the road. So having the ability to help your clients on both sides, I think really is going to be a, a good program for you as an agent in the field you know, be able to offer more to your clients. You hate to, re, you know, refer someone down the road to someone that does securities and all of a sudden you lose that client down the road because that individual is able to do both sides of the business where you are not. That can happen. It, uh something you don't want to see happen to yourself. So we can help you out with getting your Series 65 passed. We can help you out with all the security side of the business, helping, uh you know, get things moving forward on that side. We have a great group of individuals that work on that side of the market. So if you do have interest in looking more into our wealth management team, check off yes. We've got some great platforms for investments for clients. We've got a great uh, group we work with on that side of it. So really a nice win-win uh, situation for you. I think about 90% of our top 20 agents that do annuities to us are also licensed now on the security side. So a great tool you can utilize there in the field. So make sure you do look at that if you do have interest. I'm gonna leave this poll open for another 20 seconds. I think it's very valuable to be able to work on both sides of the market and be able to help your client with safe investments, but also have some gr nice growth investments there that would be available on the security side. I'll go ahead and get this closed up here, get moving forward. We do offer a, a nice trip every 18 months now. Our next trip is going to be to the Mediterranean. It's a Mediterranean cruise. It's gonna be uh, cruising around Italy with stops in uh, Italy, Greece, Croatia, and Montenegro. It should be a really nice trip. The trip itself is gonna be in late August, early September of 2022. You still have over six months to qualify for the trip. It's an 18 month qualification. Actually 19 months, it started in December of 2020 and runs through June of 2022. So plenty of time to qualify. You've got uh, four and a half million points to qualify. It's a dollar for dollar based on annuity premium. So if you are active in the annuity market and you're writing business on a monthly basis, that 18 month qualification should really be a uh, doable for a lot of agents out there that are contingency writing annuity business. So we've had a number of agents qualify already and we have six months left for agents to continue to qualify for that trip. We're happy that uh, Dave could join us here today. I know Dave's been a, a viable asset for IMS over the years. He's done a great job of teaching agents different sales ideas, different programs that we have available through IMS. Dave's been in the uh, securities line of the business for the last 25, 30 years. He's been active in the insurance side with IMS for about the last 15 years. Dave brings a lot of expertise in the market space on seminar systems, maximizing your time on a daily basis, being able to get in front of more clients and really focus in on making more sales with clients. I know that uh, Dave's had a great success the last 
number of years. He has a, a radio show that he does every Sunday morning, and Dave has uh, been building that the last number of years. Been seeing a, a fantastic results based on clients calling in, wanting to set up meetings up with Dave based on the different programs that Dave discusses during the radio program. I know Dave does these uh, on a weekly basis on Sunday mornings. He's on a cu couple different radio stations now, really has been quite successful with that type of advertising. Dave is also very active in the seminar system. He has been uh, giving seminars for, I believe, 30 plus years. Really good uh, speaker in front of groups. Does a great job on that whole side of it. And we're glad that uh, Dave could join us here today. He's actually running a little bit late, it looks like, so he should be on the next uh, minute or two. I'll go over a couple of things we're closing up with here at IMS here in December. We've seen a, a really good year of business on the annuity side. We're up about 20% uh, from last year. I know COVID had a little influence on last year's business, but we have seen an, a nice increase on business here in 2022. We've seen a lot of uh, indexed annuities being sold, fixed rate annuities. We've got some great uh, multi-rate guarantees on two-year, three-year, five-year basis. We've got a couple of companies now offering above 3% on a five-year rate guarantee. We also have a two-year rate guarantee about 175. We've got a three-year rate guarantee at 235. It's available in a lot of states. So if your clients are looking for something short-term, we have some great, uh, great options on that end. We also have a couple of real nice software programs on our website you can utilize to do income comparisons for clients and get on there and uh, do income comparisons for people looking for the best income based on the clients maybe putting in $100,000 looking for income in five years. We can run a spreadsheet on that, find you the best payments based on those clients' needs. We also have a really good accumulation software program on our website. You can plug in the different strategies. Maybe you're looking at S&P monthly averaging versus a monthly cap. You can plug in both those situations going back 10, 15 years and find the best situation on that side. So really a nice uh, combination of, of programs we offer on our IMS website. If you want to go to our website, it's www.imsinc.com. We have uh, a lot of valuable tools on that website. You can do quotes for life insurance. You can do long-term care quoting. You can look up our latest interest rates on annuities. We keep that uh, as up-to-date as possible based on the different uh, carriers we offer. You can look up like what programs have the best interest rates based on your state, product duration. So maybe look up a five-year indexed annuity, who, who has the best fixed rate account on that. You can also look up some other information based on what we have available on those sites. So really a, a nice combination here that we have available on our website. Otherwise, we should have Dave hopefully on the next couple minutes. And looks like he is running a little bit behind this morning. Well, as soon as Dave joins us, he'll be uh, jumping on and go, going over his presentation on the Social Security maximization. I know that uh, being able to work with clients on kind of when they want to start taking out their Social Security, what their time frames are based on when they want to retire, you know, do they have other assets that are available to them in retirement? Are they able to defer their payments? A number of years to uh, increase that social security payment are they looking at having a part-time job maybe when they turn 65 they want to go from full-time to part-time maybe they can utilize some other income available to them to further payments for a few more years get to that point where they are in full retirement age that is definitely something that people are looking at these days welcome aboard dave 
Glad you could join us this morning. Are you on yet, Dave? It looks like we're having a little trouble with Dave's microphone right now. Hopefully, Man, he'll give it. A, I got it yep. working. I got it working. We do have it How working, buddy. Uh, we, I was, I was yeah. going through some extra sales ideas, Dave, because you weren't on <laughs> hey, quite. Well, you yet. Don't so put, I had to throw some extra you take, stuff out there at him. But you, you get off a of mute, it works. That's right. <laughs> you know, once you put take mute off, it, it definitely helps. That's definitely a good start. So, uh, look, welcome aboard, Dave. We're glad you could join us today. Thank you very much, yeah, and thank you, everybody. I, will, I was given the, all okay. the, the history of Dave Pamper. That took me about 15 minutes Wonderful. to get through all that. Yeah, I would say at about two, you're done. I, I there, appreciate there we go. it. Do you want you to move got. the slides, or should I move the slides today, Matt? I'll go ahead and do it. Okay, good, good, good. So, you know, Dave Pamper, I'm an older guy. I've been around the business for 40 years, and I know my, my, my share on Social Security claiming. And, and as an advisor, many times we say, how the heck? Can we make money by giving advice on Social Security? You, in, in, unless you charge per hour, which, which uh, if you do, you don't. You don't make money there, but it gives you inroads to other assets that they have. So let's go to the next slide, and we will, we will kind of kick this show off. And I'll say right now, Social Security claiming, there is no doubt that understanding Social Security has probably gave me more inroads for finding money than most any other, I would say any other topic uh, uh, that I, you know, that I address when talking to prospects. Um, this is a uh, piece from Sarah O'Brien from CNBC. Uh, and I took this word for word, but it says most retirees get little advisor help on Social Security. And I'm going to read this word to word because it's pretty it's, it's, it's pretty profound. It says the majority of older Americans get no professional advice about a key part of retirement planning, Social Security. Why? And they talk about even if they work with a financial advisor, a recent study concluded, most advisors, only one out of 20, and I'm counting CPAs and lawyers and bankers in there, really understand Social Security claiming. We can go to the next slide. So what we're going to do we're going to go in and we're going to take a test, okay? And we're going to quiz you. And I want you to take this with me. It's only about a five-minute, it's a five-question test. Only one in 300 uh, average Americans could pass this. I did. There was one tricky question. But but let's go in and see what your background is on Social Security. So we'll go to the question. And it reads, to maximize your monthly Social Security checks, at what age must you claim benefits? To maximize your monthly Social Security checks, at what age must you claim benefits? And take this test with me. It's five questions. Here we go. Write the answer down. Oh, well, you're quick on the draw there, Matty. I'm helping them. You know, these guys are throwing <laughs> yeah. me money out. Give them the answers yeah. before you can get to them. I, I know you're a good Catholic guy, but you may have did on tests when you were in high school. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, full <laughs> retirement age is not the correct answer, so keep on going down. What is the correct answer? Age 70. Keep going. Age 70. There we go. Correct answer is 70. Now, that's for a single person. It could be different for a divorce, could be different for a survivor, but it keeps growing to the age of No reason to let it go longer than 70 because it doesn't grow any longer. Next question. Number two. What's the earliest age you can receive survivor's benefits if you're not disabled? The question is, what's the earliest age you can receive survivor's benefits if you're not disabled? Write your answer down. Okay, here we go. The correct answer is 60. That is correct, age 60. You actually are gonna go in and take a 28.5% 20, a discount, but you can take it as early as age 60. Okay, next question. Number three, does your spouse need to receive benefits for you to qualify for spousal benefits? Does your spouse need to receive benefits 
for you to qualify for spousal benefits, yes or no? Okay, here we go. Matt? Yes, they do. Now, here's what happens is, is that if you claim your benefit, and spousal benefits are, are always half of what your spouse's benefit. So if you've got a $1,000 benefit and your spouse has got a $2,400 benefit, that $2,400, they have to start theirs for you to get $1,200 total. Okay, next one. Slide three. Question three. Question four. And question four. <laughs> Can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? Can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? Yes or no? Here we go. What's the, what's the answer? Yep, they can. Divorced spouses can receive spousal benefits. Yes, they can. And it says if four stipulations are met. So don't go any further. Don't go any further. So f there's four stipulations. If you guess two of them, I'll give you this answer correct. If you can guess two of the four benefits or stipulations, let's say, that have to be met, I'll give you the answer. So here they are in order. First of all, your marriage had the last 10 consecutive years. Second of all, you are currently unmarried. Third of all, your ex is at least 62 or older. And fourth, the divorce was two years ago or longer. Now, all of those have to line up so divorced spouses can receive a spousal benefit as if they're still married. But if you got two of those right, I'm going to give you the answer. Okay, next and the last question. Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if you're divorced? It's a lot of spinning plates on this one. Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if you're divorced? What's the answer? Here we go. Yeah, you are, if those stipulations are met. And I'm gonna give you the answers because we just went through them, but remember what they are? You're currently unmarried. Your ex is at least 62. Remember those? How'd Just you barely. Test? Yeah. How'd you do on that test? Well, if you got only one or two right out of five, yeah, you need help. I mean, and, and, and here's what happens is coaching Social Security is fun for me. I just got off of with a fellow by the name of Robert down in Texas. And and I can normally do, I, I, I like, you know, at any given time, I can be coaching about six folks. And I'm coaching four right now, so I've got room for two more. But knowing Social Security, it's, it, it, it can really open up a lot of doors. And we have three ways to do it. So the first way is just through a Social Security seminar. I mean, I think the, the, the price will raise up next year, but right now it's still $2,500 for a guaranteed 35 people to sign up. 35 signups, guaranteed. For twenty-five hundred dollars, we want ten minimum. Um, I, I'm averaging about thirteen appointments to fourteen appointments, you know, for for my campaign. Two seminars off of each campaign. Uh, things are opening up. People, they, I mean, I, mean, I just had a I had a great one. You know, she has one point three million uh, retiring in in um, April, and we're actually going to do an in-service plan for five hundred thousand of it right now. And then the balance of the eight hundred thousand. So I tell you what, there's just a lot of of business that's that's that people are waiting because they they want information on Social Security. But seminars, and then you've got uh, Retirement Boss Radio. We coach you up on Social Security there if you're in the marketing, or just a la carte for eighty for eight hundred dollars. So there's three different ways to get Social Security claiming. Two are paid by IAMS. That's why you have no payment. They pay me. Then one is eight hundred dollars. We give you three. We give you um, for eight hundred dollars. We go in and 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 give you um, four sessions, you know, of Social Security and really coach you up to the ins and outs. 
This comes from Jana Heron from USA Today. Doing this one thing with your Social Security could mean losing a hundred grand in retirement. And here, and I did this word for word. The excerpt, bullet point one: How much does claiming Social Security at the wrong time cost you? It's amazing. Bullet point two: Listen closely. Re retirees will lose an average of a hundred and eleven thousand dollars in income per household over their lifetime because they took Social Security benefits at the wrong time. And bullet point three, overall, only 4% of retirees took Social Security to the financially optimal age. You know another way to say that is? 96% of retirees took it at the wrong age. Wow, incredible. And that's where we come into play. We give advice on when to take Social Security if you know it. Next, next slide. Just history started in 1935 on our FDR. 65 was the only age you could take it. Now it's from 62 to 70 in that eight-year time period. Um, first COLA was the 75 cost of living allowance. COLA just went up. It went up from 1.3 percent, which we currently get in 2021, to 5.9 percent inflation for 2022. Really, that's the biggest jump ever, highest in 39 years. Taxation started in 83, and the last major reform was the Bipartisan Budget Act in 215, implemented in January 1 of 2016, that did away with file and suspend over a six-month phase-out and restricted application where we got two years left that we could still use it. Next slide. How important is Social Security? Very. Nearly 60% of all retirees count their Social Security benefit as their major source of income. More than 401ks, more than pensions, more than personal savings. Isn't that wild? That's how important it is. In fact, if we didn't have a Social Security benefit, over 40% of all Americans would be on poverty row. So important. Next slide. So if you don't take anything away but this today out of Social Security, take this slide. Take this information from this slide. In, in, this, is, this is a very easy, kind of simple definition of Social Security. There's three ages or dates that are important. The middle date is your full retirement age, somewhere between 66 and 67 for your age. That means you get the full benefit not the max remember that's at 70 so if you wait you can wait to 70 so you're not going to take it now and then you wait for your social security to 70 it increases it's guaranteed eight percent per year from full retirement age to 70 and then you turn it on it doesn't have those delayed retirement credits after that or you can take early it's called an actuarial reduction the good thing is you get the money now the bad thing is it's reduced if you take it 62 it's reduced anywhere from 25 to 30 percent of your income. Get it now, but it's reduced. Those, that's the basics of Social Security claiming. Next slide. So can Social Security have a huge value? Yeah, if you claim at your right time. And I emphasize this because those are slides I take out of my workshop itself. Not claiming at the right time or a right time but claiming at your right time. I always say claiming Social Security is the worst company water cooler talk there is. Hey, Dave, I took it 62 and you should too. Hey, Dave, I took it 70. I waited to 70 and you should too. That's like saying, hey, Dave, I love the color violet and you should too. I mean, it's all individualized. Next slide. Social Security is still running a surplus, and it has since 1983. Probably 2021 will be a deficit. Now, this is a question I always ask. That 2.8 or 9 trillion in the trust fund, when they talk about it going bankrupt, they're talking about the trust fund going bankrupt. So if you had a thousand buck benefit, trust fund goes bankrupt. A lot of people think you'd have no money coming in. But that's not true because it's a it's a pay as you go plan through payroll taxes. The six point two percent they take from you, the six point two percent they take from your employer, that twelve point four percent 
or 12 uh, 12,400 bucks per 100,000 that's what that 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 comes up with all Americans to just under 1 trillion dollars worth of revenue that has sustained and paid for full social security benefits since 1983 now if it doesn't now it goes into the trust fund which it probably will this year hey dave i just launched a quick poll for everyone yeah. out there why yeah. everybody's still on we're going to uh take a poll here if people have interest in having dave's office contact you i know you get a uh a free session to go over the social security system you know what dave has to offer on that side he's got a great uh bunch of programs he has available to, to help cover you know social security claiming and you know go over some of that stuff with them real quick dave what you have on on your end of it yeah i'll tell you right now this is a a pretty simple call you're just calling to talk about how social security could or how social security uh, can help your business and i'm talking about help your business as far as maybe not just just being a better advisor but making more money I mean, being a better advisor, that is important and it's great and it's fulfilling, but it doesn't pay for the bills. Right in business pays for the bills. Assets, gathering assets, fixed index annuity, life insurance, whatever it happens to be, um, um, wealth management, that pays for the bills. And I'll tell you right now, knowing Social Security puts you in a bit of rare air when it comes to giving advice. Because by far, most advisors, it makes no difference if you're a Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, Northwestern Mutual, uh, Edward Jones. Most people don't really understand Social Security. I'll coach you up on that. So if you mark yes, in fact, uh, Brady Pelzer will give you a call, and, in, and then we'll line up with our office, and, and he will call right after the workshop or today and, and get that going. But it's about a 20, 25-minute talk, and it just – we can talk about anything from the financial marketing standpoint, but, but you know, I, I've done over uh, 540 public seminars, uh, been in radio for well over 30 years. Um, Retirement Boss Radio is a is a hosting show that we put together and market through IMS uh, from a proprietary marketing um, um, uh, type of program. So. Um, if there's any questions, we will answer those for you. You can certainly type them in, but we're going to leave this up. Let's leave it up for maybe a, about another 30 seconds. I will say one quick thing. Most people say, oh, my gosh, you know, now that I'm 55 years old or 60 or 50 or 70 or whatever, the person I'm coaching right now, yeah, he's 73 years old. And he really understands Social Security, but he wants to understand it better. And he used to be giving seminars, and he had success with it, but he's just gotten out of the realm of it. Yeah, so we got him back in again. I'll tell you what, if you can get 10, 12 appointments from a workshop, you get 10 appointments, I mean, you're, you're paying $250 per appointment. That's pretty darn reasonable in today's day and time. So we've only got, a, I think, one person that hasn't marked yes or no. If you could just mark real quick, <clears throat> and then maybe they're having some technical issues on this. So why don't we do this, Matt? Why don't we go ahead and go to the next slide? And we will certainly give him a call. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And then one thing to keep in mind is, you know, IMS helps with the the, the cost of these programs. So we're going to give you scholarships to help pay your cost for these programs. So, you know, maybe Dave's regular cost is two hundred fifty dollars, and we give you, you know, a fifty dollar, hundred dollar scholarship towards that. So we're going to lower your cost, and I think it's definitely worthwhile. As Dave mentioned, I think having the Social Security expertise. Is going to put you, you know, up above, you know, ninety percent of your competitors. And if you can get in front, front of a group of individuals at one of the workshops, you know, Dave does a lot of daytime workshops. You know, he's not spending a ton of money on food. These are, are not dinner workshops. These are informational workshops. You know, he holds them at uh, different locations, maybe libraries or, you know, the local college. You get a room pretty economical in, in those situations and. Let's say you spend $200 for the room, and you spend another $200 in refreshments, and spend you know a, a, maybe $1,000 for the invite or that might be, then you're, you're going to be uh, way ahead of the game. And, and you know you close a couple of sales. I know I was just talking about this with an, an individual a couple of days ago. Is I see so much more money out there right now than I've ever seen. I'm not sure what's happened the last two or three years, but it seems like you know $100,000 used to be a huge case. 
Now that's like run of the mill. I mean, every case is $100,000. And our average case this year, it's probably jumped up to $150,000. I mean, it's gone up by 50% in one year. Is that kind of what you're seeing, Dave? You're seeing a lot more money out there these days? Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, I mean, 100000 is still a good case, but, but I, but I mean, I mean, we're just seeing, we're just seeing, you know, uh, 100,000 plus cases a lot more because mm -hmm. just I mean, a lot of it is retirement money that is, you know, it's been in the boom of this market and they know the market is about to go down. I mean, one of those days, it's not going to stay high forever. And that's right. why they really want some advice and maybe have some type of a little more preservation of principle type of, of strategies. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And you're just talking about that, you know, million, three dollar, one point three million dollar yep. client you're just meeting with. And you mean you might used to see those once a quarter, maybe once a year. Now you yep. see those people all the time. I mean, it's just amazing how much more money is floating around, you know, amongst retirees. Yeah, no, and you're exactly right. It's a huge boom right now. And and yeah. it's a great time to get started. I mean, if you can get, you know, people between sixty five and sixty eight when they're getting into retirement and, and be a social security expert, I mean, your business is really going to multiply out. I agree. I agree. Let's go ahead. We'll go to the next slide. And then we'll kind yeah, of I'm going to close the poll up real quick, everyone. Thank so for, for, thanks for, for voting. For and the ones that were unable to vote, we will contact everyone that was on today's webinar. And then if you do want to meet with Dave and get an appointment set up, I'll go ahead and, and transfer your information to Brady. He'll go ahead and get you called and get everything set up. So keep that in mind. And otherwise, we'll go to the next slide here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Social Security will run out of money for the trust fund in, in the year 2034, according to the Social Security trustees. But there's going to be some kind of taxation. There's going to be some type of um, maybe at age, uh, changing ages upward. But there's going to be some changes. So Social Security is not going away. It's, 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 it's the absolute cornerstone for financials for many, many people. It's not going away, but it will be tweaked. And there's no doubt that that will, could change. So stay tuned because there are gonna be some changes here within the next year or two. We'll go to the next slide. So is it a pay as you go system? It is, payroll taxes. What do they buy? They buy special issue treasury bonds. And does the government borrow or sell those bonds off? They do almost immediately to pay for other debt that the government has. This used to be a designated trust fund. It is now uh, can be used for the general budget, but it's not a Ponzi scheme. There's nothing that hard that backs social security, but it's the same IOU that backs the currency in your pocket. What, what backs the dollar bill, not gold. That went away in 74, not silver. That went away in the, in the 30s, I would, not bonds, you know, because they've been sold off, but but it's it's the full faith and credit of the U.S. government. Same backs currency is what backs Social Security. So unless your cash ain't good, I'm not going to get concerned about Social Security not being good. Okay, next slide. Figuring out what your benefit is, it's, it's complicated. You know, Social Security's got 2,700 rules rules the big government programs are rules laden but this is a good one so what happens is you need 40 quarters of coverage a cover a, a coverage a quarter of coverage is if you make fourteen hundred and seventy dollars in 2021 you get a quarter of coverage you get one quarter of coverage you need 40 40 quarters of coverage so if you get one per quarter four per year ten years forty you need ten years of work and earning at least in today's day and time, 1,410 bucks per quarter. You can earn that all in the first year, all for the first day, $5,880, 1470 times four, you get your 40, you get your four quarters for that year. But then it's your earnings over your working career. The more you make, the more, the more, the bigger your benefit is up to a certain amount. What age you start taking it, the longer you wait, the bigger it is. And then they take your highest 35 inflation adjusted years. So even though maybe 30 years ago you made a year of 25,000, that could be uh, inflation adjust quite high today's day, time period. You take all of those, it's called AIME, A -I -M -E, that calculation, which is all done by computer now. I did it by longhand once and 
uh, killed me, but I did do it because I really wanted to figure it out. But it's all done by computers. Easy to do. That's how you figure out your benefit. Next slide. Can you go to yeah. a site, Dave, and kind of see where you stand on that situation? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, SS.gov at uh, or, or Social Security.gov at SS.gov. You can bring up your report online. It's all firewalled, and they just came on out with a brand new look. It is it's 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 much cleaner and easier to understand. But um, you know they only change Social Security benefits once a year. But you need to go in and make sure they don't make a mistake that they give you your full benefit of, of what the value is. But they'll they'll show you of, of what you are at full retirement age, and then taking from 62 through 70. So it's it's a it's a they don't mail out statements anymore. They always used to, but now everything is online. Okay, full retirement age. Yeah, if you're born from 43 to 54, your full retirement age is 66. Like I was born in 55, so 66 years and two months. If I was born in 56, four months, 57, six months. Ratchets two months each year up to 1960 or later, your full retirement age is 67. A newborn baby born today at Methodist Hospital, age Full retirement age for Social Security, 67. Don't you love that dog? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my favorite picture. Do you, can you see Matt? He's wearing a bone tie. I like that. Bad, bad joke. Bad joke, I know. Okay, next slide. Next slide. Do so you think they're going to adjust these uh, retirement ages up in the next few years, Dave? I do. Yep, I do. I think there will be. Yep, they'll phase it in, too. Mm -hmm. Probably 10 years. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you 66 and you take early, there's a 25% discount at 62. If you're at 67, there's a 30% discount. So that's discounted for the rest of your life. That's the bad thing. The good thing is you get the money now, but the bad thing is it is reduced. Next slide. If you wait longer than full retirement age, now you're guaranteed basically 8%. 8% a year. Well, just think about it. If you got a, if you get, I just had a guy that had a $3,000 benefit, pretty high benefit, towards the top. He's going to, he's, he's, he's from 66 to 67, he's going to wait. So he gets 8%, then another 5.9 COLA, so 6%. It's almost 14%. His is going to raise like $420 in one year. It'll, for the rest of the lifetime, it'll be up 420 bucks just because of, of the delayed retirement credit of 8% and of COLA, cost of living. Pretty wild. Next slide. So we're going to go through, I'm a believer if you know the individual benefit, spousal, survivor, divorced, and restricted. You know those five benefits, and I'll almost assure you, you, you can answer maybe 80, 90% of all of the questions that come your way. Now, there always are going to be kind of little sidetracks and there's going to be detours that are a little bit different, but the basics is what we're looking at here. So let's just say Dave's PIA, that's primary insurance amount, which means that your amount at full retirement age. His is 2400 Amy's PIA primary insurance amount is 1000 Dave takes his, Amy takes hers. Dave gets 2400 Amy has the option. She can take her thousand or she can take half of days, whichever is higher. Well, what, what's going to happen? She's going to take half of days. 1200 is more than a thousand. And that's done automatically if you're married. The higher benefit will come automatically. And actually, it's a thousand dollars of the individual benefit and two hundred dollars of a, of a spousal top up. Next slide. Divorce spouse benefits, that and survivor are the two that are mostly left on the table. People don't get the benefit they, they deserve. But remember those four things that have to happen? The marriage had to, had to be 10 years or more conti continuously. The spouse receiving the benefit is unmarried currently. X is at least 62. Divorce was two years ago or longer. If all of those stars and moons add up, you're able to take a divorce spouse benefit just as if you're still married to them in the eyes of Social Security claiming. Why is that important? Because married couples have many times many more options than a single person, many times. 
And this, the government's not going to give you a letter and say, hey, you're leaving table, you know, benefits on the table. It just doesn't work that way. Next slide. Here we go. Next slide. Yep. Somehow. Well, there we go. Social Security Survivor Benefit. My wife always says, nobody gets out of here alive. And isn't that the truth? We all are going to die. Kick the bucket. Physically. Who normally goes first? The guy. 75% of the guy, time the guy dies first. So let's say Dave's benefit's two grants, Amy's benefit 1200 So there's no discounting. They're, full re they're both full retirement age. Dave dies first. Amy now has the option. She can keep her 1200 and let Dave's go, or she can let hers go and keep Dave's 2000 She can't take them both. So what's she going to do? She's going to request because it has to be done by request. It doesn't isn't automatic. But she lets her 1200 go and jumps up to Dave's. If she doesn't request it, she's going to lose that benefit. Happens all the time. Also, what's pretty cool, at the age of 60, I mean, that's the earliest you can take a survivor benefit if you're not disabled. She she could take, and this works if you're not working because an earnings doesn't come into play, earnings test. But she could take, say, the widow's benefit at a discount, 28.5% discount, but let let her benefit grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. Could grow all the way up to 70. Turn it on, no discounting, gets the fuller, the full big benefit. So there's some really neat things you can do with the survivor benefit. Very liberal towards the positives when it comes to Social Security claiming. If you have any questions, type them in. I'm more than happy to answer for those for you. Yeah, we just, just had a question come in, Dave. Someone asked, what do you think the chances of uh, lower benefits down the road if the Social Security does start running into some money issues? Do you think they'll reduce benefits? They used to say that on their the annual report. You, you think that would uh, something down the road would come up like that? Well, if they don't make any changes, they'll they'll reduce the benefits by about twenty two percent in two thousand thirty four. But government will absolutely make changes. I would say there's a virtually no chance for those benefits to go down. None. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. Right. Can, that's my kids. It can be wrong, but I will tell you, Social Security backbone of the US. They're not going to mess with the backbone financials of the US. Nope, I wouldn't be concerned one bit. Okay. Okay. Next slide. Coordinating spousal benefits. This gets gets complicated. You can go to the next slide. You have to be <coughs> excuse me. You gotta be born before January second in nineteen fifty four. Gotta be pretty old. Like 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 sixty seven years and eleven months old. Almost sixty eight years old. But if you are, if you are, then you actually can go in and and let your benefit delay. You have to be full retirement age. You're now, you have to be that 67 years and 11 months or almost 68 years old. But you can delay it and earn the 8% delayed retirement credits. Your spouse has to be taken there. So we can go to the next slide. In this scenario, the spouse has got a thousand bucks, say, and Dave has twenty four hundred. He lets this twenty four hundred grow. Amy's taking her thousand. Dave can reach out and take a spousal benefit of five hundred bucks from Amy. Six thousand a year. If he does it for two years till he's seventy, that's twelve thousand dollars of free money. Free money. Pretty big deal. Not many people can do it, but uh, that gal got 1.3 million from the Social Security workshop. She actually could, but she's had some pretty bad cancer and reoccurring cancer. She's going to take her full benefit, but she could have restricted if she was in good shape. But but she's electing to take it all, and I agree with her because you don't know how long you're going to live on reoccurring cancer. Next slide. So what can and can't the Social Security Administration do? When I got into this business. Um, 11 years ago, I called my CPA, my lawyer, and my banker. And actually, two are retired now, and one is semi-retired. So they're all they all were in their their yeah all were in their 50s, late 50s or early 60s when I called them 11 years ago. And you know what? Not one of them said they give advice on Social Security. They didn't know Social Security claiming. 
And so I, I, I mailed out a letter to everybody and I stay in contact. I get referred quite often my CPAs and lawyers and bankers because, because they know I know social security, but each one of them said, well, if they want advice, we just, we just have them call social security administration. <laughs> and then I found <laughs> out you can't give advice. Well, how ironic is that? The Social Security Claiming Office cannot give advice. They can give your highest benefit right now, but they can't give advice. Go to the next slide. I was so excited when I found this. Uh, you can find almost anything if you search long enough on the net. This is from their program's operational manual, their POM system. So this is how they get trained and what they look up for answers. And look at number D. It says enough information so that claimants can make informed choices, but do not give advice they can't give advice and you know why because they're not going to ask about their health they're not going to ask about what their goals are when they retire they're not going to ask about what kind of assets they have they're not going to ask ask about their streams they're not going to ask about their dna they're not going to ask the type of drugs you're on right now if you really want to know when to take social security you need to be asking all those questions and Social Security can't do that. Can I do that? You darn right I can. Can you do that if you really understand Social Security? You darn right you can. It's a lot of responsibility, but with that responsibility, you know, uh, comes just a lot of great information you can give your client that hopefully will turn into other types of investments and things that you can work with. It just goes hand in hand. Next slide. So I say consider all your income streams before you begin claiming. And I'm going to read those because I think they're that important. Remember this. Social Security is not a standalone income stream. We'll talk about the five here in the next slide. Social Security, I feel, I feel is the most flexible because you can start at any time you want to. It's up to you. No one else. Claiming at your right time, not the right time, not a right time, but your right time is paramount. You know what? When you start thinking break even, don't forget about your survivor. Your, your spouse, surviving spouse, they can jump up to your benefit. My mom is 98 years old. She dates a guy for 11 years. That's 98. True. Dean. Yeah, that's wild. They got 196 years of marriage. She has used, worked, uh, used my dad's survivor benefit for 16 years now. He died 16 years ago at 82. It really helped her financially. Next slide. Here's the five pillars. Wages, pensions, income-producing assets, RMDs at 72 on your traditional uh, retirement plans and Social Security. It's how Social, it's how Social Security, it, it really, the conduit with those other five pillars, okay? And the money number there is three. That's where I uncover all for my fact-finding, all the 401ks, IRAs, Roths, real estate, bank accounts, CDs, and I work with partials all the time. Next slide. Lot to, just a lot to think about. I mean, there's tr a lot of different ways to claim Social Security. Next slide. Remember, three ways we coach you up. You're not going to find any other FMOs that give you three ways to learn Social Security. Two are paid for by the FMO IMS, Insurance Agency Market Services. <laughs> Matt, has, how, Matt, how long have you been there now? 27 short years. Were you like five when you started? Oh, I think I was only four, so I've been, you know, I'm only 31 <laughs> now. Yeah, how many times <laughs> do you find someone that's been there 27 years? He's, he's, he's a vice president of IAMS, but, but that, that's the kind of firm they are. They have a lot of longevity. But, but what happens through seminar marketing, $2,500, hopefully get you 10 or more appointments. We coach you up. For no, I am pays me to coach you up three sessions. Retirement Boss Radio normally runs three to four thousand dollars. If you never thought about radio, it, I mean, I just last weekend I just got three appointments. Weekend before I got four appointments. I tell you what, it's a we hope to get ten appointments or more a month, which we've easily been doing. Still, still, the cities that are open, we coach you up on Social Security at no cost to yourself, or you can just a la carte it. Don't want any marketing. I just want to learn Social Security. Dave, teach me four sessions for $800. It's it's just three different ways to learn Social Security and really understand it. And in that time period, not just that time period, but afterwards, you can use me as often as you want to to ask questions. 
So it's a, really a, a social security source. Okay, next slide, please. Have you been seeing better responses on your seminars, Dave? People attending more now based on the, the COVID situation? Yeah, it's interesting. We actually, our numbers are down some from when pre-COVID, but the number of appointments for the percentage is up. The percentage mm. of appointments are up. We had 16 and 15 uh, on my, I, I've done four campaigns now since COVID and um, we had 16 and 15. I I had one where, where, where we had 17 buying units and I got 16 people and one we had 18 buying units and got 15 people. This last one, I got, we got eight appointments from 12 buying units. So what happens is we, we just have, we have lesser people attending, but we have more interest from in the people who attended, interestingly enough. Yeah. Well, that's, that's way better. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Next slide. Yeah. So this is procrastination is my sin. It brings me constant sorrow. I really shouldn't practice it. Perhaps I'll stop. <laughs> Tomorrow never <laughs> comes, does it? Don't, don't let, don't let, if you heard something, say, look it, I, I need to go in and talk to that guy, Dave Pemper. So when Brady calls you, you know, and if you mark, yes, he's going to call probably everyone that's on, because we have a lot of folks today. But think about Social Security, how it could help your practice. If you really, really don't know it, if you didn't get all five or at least four of the questions around that quiz, you probably don't know it inside and out. I can help you a lot in a way to market that. Okay? So is there any questions at all? As we're kind of summing it on up here, Matt, because I know we're towards the top of the hour, is there any other questions that, that we need to address? Uh, the one question that came up is, what's your delay been regarding, you know, getting a seminar system started and when you give your first seminar? What's what's the time frame there? Six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks, yep. And then after that, you actually can do it as little as it within, let us know, within three weeks. But the mm -hmm. very first one, because I coach, I actually coach you, say it's it's going to be three sessions on Social Security, two sessions sessions on just coaching for the seminar itself. So, so oh, I take that back. I take that back. It, it's three sessions of social security and there might be one more talking about the seminar itself. A lot of times I do that in the third session. So there is at least three or four coaching sessions before you, you get out there. All of my, you have, you get to PowerPoint, you go in and get three months of the, uh, of a social security software that is paid for. You'd pay for it after that 30 bucks a month, but it's three months free. You get all of our attachments, all of our scripts. Uh, you get our PowerPoint. You get all the language in the PowerPoint. Every slide has language. I put that PowerPoint together, 44 slides. It is anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour presentation. It's a track and the track does work. As long as you follow the track, it should work for you, and, and I'm there to help you with that. Great, great. Well, good. Well, we appreciate everybody's uh, time this morning. We'll have Brady, of course, following up with everyone that attended today. I'll be giving everyone a call also, and then we will, uh, you know, get you set up with Dave, get things moving forward. Now's a good time to get started going into 2022. I know, as Dave mentioned, it's about a you know five to six week process to get things all put together to start giving your first meetings. And I think, uh, you know, getting meetings started in February is really a good month. Nobody really does much, you know, the first couple, three weeks of January, everything really gets going in February. So great timing, you know, in order to get things moving in 2022. Otherwise, Dave, appreciate your time this morning. You did get a great job. Yeah. Anything you want to follow up with here this morning, end up with here? No, people who take action are the people who are the, the most successful. I'll tell you right now, again, if you heard something, say, I, re I really need to learn Social Security. I really need to get some marketing going for 2022. I mean, I'm not bragging on this, but I'm just telling you, here's what marketing does. My 2021 was better than 2020, the pandemic. My 2000 pandemic, the pandemic year, I had more gross production than 2019. But the reason was uh, seminars went way down because I couldn't see people face to face. We did some virtuals. We had a little bit of business, 
But, oh, radio, radio just shot way, way up because so many more people were staying at home and listening to the radio. Our, our appointments were pretty much inevitable. Did I learn to use Zoom? Yeah. I'm an old guy. I never used Zoom before. I did. But I will tell you what, marketing is the name of the game, and I'm a marketer, but Social Security can help you market your practice. Hope to talk to each and every one of you. Thanks again, Dave. Everyone, have a great week. Have a great uh, holiday season coming up. We'll make contact here the next uh, 24 hours. Otherwise, everyone enjoy the rest of the day, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye Thanks, now. everybody. Have a great week. Bye-bye.